All right, now we're back into the catacombs of Karthus. You can grab these and immediately roll out and you won't get hit with the slime on your head. Get invaded by Night Slayer Sorig. That way we can get a gesture as well as the ring. That ring works really well for the low level invasions. Everyone has a shield through the illusionary wall. Grab the Grave Warden's Ashes. Take out the skeleton with the hat. That way the boulder stops uh, rolling and we can get the Dark Gym out of it. Add another Fire Gym to the inventory. Don't forget that Anri's oh, up here. Oh. Oh. We're gonna skip this boss for now and head down into the demon ruins. And it is very easy to cheese this uh, little mini boss. Let him breathe fire, hide behind the wall. Lure him up here and get him as far down the walkway as you can. And when he's backing up, he will not attack. And, well, fucking lucky me, he's stuck. Now you can wait until you run through the level and turn off the uh, the giant crossbow up there. Or you can just run through it like I do and get everything right away. This is a giant worm. You want to use this tree behind me for protection from the uh, giant crossbow catapult. And you get as close to the worm as you can without getting hit by the lightning. Start firing away with arrows. Undead Bone Shard and Lightning Stake Miracle. Now let's run and go grab the uh, Shield of Want. Then we're gonna head straight back to the forest. And horse is gone hollow, so now we have to kill him. Ah. Poor son of a bitch. Pick up one of my favorite shields of the game. And we want to open up the pathway down into the uh, ruins right here. So we gotta let one of the uh, arrows hit this spot. Back in the corner, grab the Chaos Gem. And then also the ring behind the uh, wall that breaks.
And when you drop down, you can see there's uh, two ways to go. Short way and a long way. We're going to go the long way. Our second chaos gym. And this guy right here is great for farming chaos gems. They drop titanite shards, large titanite shards, and chaos gems. In the room across from the bonfire, we pick up the Isolith Pyromancy Tome. Light up this bonfire. An illusionary wall in the corner. Grab an Estus shard. And I totally forgot to grab the dark gem. Don't forget about that. All right, now back here, we're gonna head down and go through the area. Head through the illusionary wall. Pick up the Black Knight Sword. Undead Bone Shard over here in the corner of the fucking room of hell. Head up and all the way out to the where the bonfire is. What the fuck? through that illusionary wall come over here grab the Quailana pyromancy tome and there's another illusionary wall down the stairs actually two drop down one level pick up the Isolus staff We're gonna kill Night Slayer Sorig one more time. We're gonna use Alluring Skulls and make him kill himself. If you do want the items that are out in the lava, um, there's the uh, white hair talisman and uh, the and I think toxic mist in the other one. Uh, I would suggest just coming back after you finish the area. That way, if you do end up dying, you don't lose too much. Interesting. After getting to the top of both ladders, off to the side, is the Dragon Rider bow. Uh, it does require higher decks than it should, but it's a bow that scales primarily with strength. And when you get to the tippy tippy top of this area, we can turn this goddamn annoying piece of shit off. And then get ready to do the... Uh, King will near boss fight. All right, back at the catacombs of Carthus bonfire. As you can see, I look a lot different. 
I keeping my weight under 30% that way I can move as quickly as possible I'm going to use the executioner's greatsword uh, I want the strike damage you want to get the highest damage as well as strike seems to work the best uh, to knock out Wolnir's bracelets as fast as we can um, I put Lloyd's sword ring on it uh, gave me a little more uh, AR with the weapon over Flynn's ring and then I'm also going to buff it with Karthus flame arc before you go into the boss fight make sure to talk to Anri one more time oh, tell him of smoldering lake and what you did to Horus goodness me to think that what thank this please grab the ring from him and that'll continue his storyline Make sure to buff everything before touching the uh, goblet. It's best to do this boss fight on the first try if you can. tome out of there and go right into Irithyll now when you fight the uh, the beast that appears here you don't want to take your time with it either it has the animation that it does when it first appears just rush it Light up the first bonfire inside Irithyll across the bridge. Clean out the uh, few items that are uh, right here in the immediate area. After getting the items in this area, we're going to go right back to the shrine. And since we went into Irithyll, we want to talk to Grey Rat. Oh, is the twenty? Send him to pillage. Mm, fun. I am. <laughs> he only stays gone until you defeat a boss. So we're going to go right back into the demon ruins and take care of the uh, the demon king. I'm going to go ahead and summon Night Slayer Soric for this fight. <clears throat> and in order to get the armor from uh, Cuculus, summon her for the Demon King boss fight. And she has to survive. She cannot die. If she does die during the boss fight, Black, uh, well, Black Crystal, if, uh, Night Slayer, if he's still in, and then Homeward Bone out and try again. But she most likely won't die. She does a really good job in the fight. So once you defeat the boss, you can head back to Undead Settlement and uh, grab her armor.
And with that, uh, after defeating the Demon King boss, come right back down. And Grey Rat is already back. Oh, thank the... I might have done it. Take... Uh, I am pleased. <laughs> Give up all the pyromancy tomes. Oh, and we also have the new miracles from the tome we got in Lothric Castle. Oh, now I tales, what fun. <laughs> I like to head in and light up the second bonfire of the area before taking the uh, path to the uh, weeping evangelist. I do not sit at the bonfire. That way we don't uh, refresh the enemies. But uh, that way it's there and we can just uh, use a homeward bone right back to it instead of running all the way back. And then here's Anri to continue that quest oh. line. Uh, uh, man. Get the famous quiet resolve gesture uh, uh, and we're going to leave the uh the uh i guess the hidden fucking kidnapper alone we're gonna let that story play out grab your first proof of concord kept Open up the door before you fight her. By the tree, pick up the witch tree branch for sorceries. Then you get Dory's nine. A pretty decent offensive miracle. And I almost forgot. We want to head back to the bridge where we first started uh, before we go any further. And we're going to help Cirrus out real quick. Slayer Axe as Blessing well. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. And then we'll head right back to Firelink Shrine because the uh, cat ring is going to come in handy mm. real I soon. My... I would... If you bless... And now we're going to get invaded by Creighton. Dragon Slayer's axe. Fuck. And right behind the uh, tall gravestone is an undead bone shard. And if you're gonna head in the back to get the gold coin in the corner, use a, a fire projectile on these dogs. Okay. 
Um, sometimes I'll stand up here and I'll just shoot at the eyes with arrows if I want to clear it out. But lately I've just been running, uh, I'm going to grab the blue bug pellets down in their corner and then just make my way over to the uh, ladder as quickly as I can. by the tree there and the last corridor on the left crystal lizard all the way in the back corner of uh of the water area and pick up the great heal miracle on the dead grub and now we open up the distant manor bonfire if you head down the stairs we can start heading into the dungeon uh, but before you go into the dungeon you want to at the very least uh go talk to Sigurd uh just up in the next area over here I always intend on just talking to him and coming back, but uh, I'll probably end up opening up the rest of Irithyll uh, and leave Pontiff for a little bit later. So you can just run by the enemies, grab the uh, shit covered ashes, and go on into the kitchen. Save your Estus, by the way. <laughs> You could uh, get a free drink of some uh, oh, Estes from Sigurd. You get the emit emit force miracle from him. If you have been buying magic, right now is a great time to put on the uh, slumbering dragon crest ring and mask um, your sound. That way you can get some backstabs in on the uh, silver knights. It makes it much easier. They do have automatic drops that you get, like that, but uh, if you are lucky, you can get extra items out of them as well. the more important item out of the three chests, the Leo ring. There we go. Got some armor. And then the mandatory large titanite drop. The uh, blue bug pellets come in handy here. stairs inside the building. Drop off down to the left. And then head up the ladder. And up ahead is the only enemy that you can get the Pontiff Scythe to drop from. We'll open up the main gate. and then drop down to get the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. 
as well as a lightning gem right underneath it and then to the side is an illusionary wall with your uh, magic clutch ring and a quick little pit stop um, at this point we want to make sure that we stop and talk to uh yuria every now and then to keep the storyline going with anry and you know uh, there must be I i'm no but i don't want an accident and also uh gray rat's gonna ask to be sent into lothric castle to pillage you want to refuse at this point um you can talk to him and bring it up again later and send him to pillage and then we'll collect his ashes and get the extra items uh, for sale at that point. Uh, but we're going to keep him around for now. That way we can still buy stuff from him until that time comes. Right. But if you... T I meant... How do you like this? And just to show what you get when you buy enough uh, magic spells from uh, Vendrick... And you want to use uh, High Lord Wolnir's Soul to get Black Serpent. Uh, works really, really good with this build. And it's great for roll catching and it does decent damage. And you can also get the Chaos Bed Vestiges uh, with the uh, Sorcery Ring or the, uh, what's it? the Scholar Ring that increases your intelligence. Um, you can use this as well. All right, now we find ourselves at the uh, distant manor bonfire, heading down the stairs, making our way into the uh, dungeon of Irithyll. The moment you come outside down the stairs, you're gonna get invaded, as long as you're embered. By killing this invader, you can pick up the uh, the Murikumo, but I'm sure just about everybody knows that. One thing you want to make sure that you do bring with you is the black fire bombs, not just the regular fire bombs, but the black ones. They will uh, knock the jailers back on their ass. And in case you didn't know, when they do the stare at you and it drains your uh, your health bar, it cannot kill you. It'll only drain you down to your uh, bare minimum of health, and then an actual physical or element, an actual something has to actually hit you in order to kill you. The stare cannot do it alone. When I first come in, I make my way directly over to the other side to get the key and then head out. Um, there's not a whole lot of point in exploring the entire immediate area until you have the, uh, the keys necessary to open everything. And the, the Jailer uh, armor is actually decent. The mask is pretty good. Yeah. And I mean, I imagine it's something that you probably either love or hate to buy the, uh, for Fashion Souls. And you get a simple gem on the, uh, the downstairs part of the far side. And almost every chest in this area is a mimic. Almost every chest. And the first one you come across has a, the uh, Estes shard in it. 
And you want to come all the way down to the end and drop out the last uh, door on the right. On the left is the mimic, on the right is the regular chest. Need the cell key as well as a dark clutch ring. I'm gonna throw on the uh, the silver cat ring. And we're gonna take care of the giant right away. We're gonna drop down here. All right, so I stand down right under the arch and I shoot him. I see where his head's gonna be and I line up my shot. And I hold that position. So shoot, push the button the moment it hits his body and then keep hitting R1s and it'll avoid his arm as it swings in front of you and you'll get three arrows directly to his face. you know it the giant will be dead and then we're gonna run through the rats and avoid them and pick up all the items here and then go into the door on the right for the uh, the elevator to open up the shortcut We're gonna come right back after we open up the shortcut anyway. So head back out and we'll go across to the left. The lightning bolts on the other hand are actually pretty good. Everyone kind of has their own style of probably how they want to deal with them. You could uh, equip a bow and lure them over here one by one and take them out. Um, I just take it a, the quick way. I watch the uh, how they're making their rounds and I try and approach them from the tail end of their little fucking parade that they got going on around the pillar. The black fire bombs will knock them down. All right, here we go. Mind your surroundings. So yeah, one of them just stands still. And if you don't have to get too close to the one that's just hanging out and watching, they won't really do anything. But that doesn't always happen, so don't count on it, that's for sure. Oh shit, look at that! I just glitched her right through the door. That's crazy. Fucking whooped her ass so hard it fucking bent time and space. Grab the uh, Alva armor set. Inside the closed door with all the half dragons is a profaned coal, which is an important coal that we want. The small room with the door and no enemies inside. Get the Xanthius ashes. And the dust crown ring. Teleportation point for uh, Arch Dragon Peak. Halfway down, and grab the lightning blade miracle. If you're looking for the gargoyle flame spear, this first one, this first gargoyle that uh, drops down, has one. It's a fairly decent spot to farm it if you want it. 
on the uh, guy that makes the ladders his dead body pick up the undead bone shard as well as his gesture the run by that gargoyle the uh, with the holes in the floor you basically just turn every time you can so turn left next intersection turn right and go left and then you're clear of the holes in the floor on the left hand side is uh, some rusted gold coin there we go wake him the fuck up so we want to bring him down and get him into the uh, the toxic poison area grab the Logan scroll from his dead body all right so now we want to equip a weapon that has quick step in the uh, other side of the cavern there's a poison gem and the uh, curse bite ring so on the far side of the room grab the ring and then we'll just make our way over to the ladder from the top of the roof jump down through the window grab the wrath of god's miracle there's another mimic with the uh, court sorcerer's staff and then some rubbish off to the side, like literal rubbish, not figuratively. And then by the pots, you're gonna grab the court sorcerer's armor and wake up the giant hand fucking creature. Make sure to jump through the window. Grab the gold serpent ring and ah, talk to Sigurd. Rescue sick. him. Once eyes take And get a tight nice slab that you're not gonna use. Ah, ah, ah. And then this is the final key you need to uh, finish clearing out the dungeon. And after you grab the key, we're just going to warp back to the last bonfire. And we're going to head straight for Yorm. Red bug pellet will help here. Once you're in the hallway by the boss's door, no enemies can come in here, so they're safe. I'm gonna unequip my weapons and just make them dash for the storm sword or the storm ruler. And I like to keep Secret alive during the boss fight, so hopefully everything goes well. Uh, if he starts getting the shit kicked out of him, I usually will uh, homeward bone out and come back. Secrets. I want to keep him alive. And run right up by him. Alright, he's down. Let's get this weapon equipped. Oh shit, I'm over 70%. I keep myself spaced out. Away from the Secrets. Kind of have him kind of cornered, I guess you could say, between the, uh, the weapon arts of the storm door. There we go. Get the last sig bro from him. Well, you, you, well, you. Give him enough distance to where he falls and dies. Aw, poor.
course he would. And now we get to keep his armor set. I'm gonna head back to the shrine and take advantage of everything we've gotten up until now, and then go back into the dungeon and uh, finish opening up and getting everything out of there. Oh my. You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan. Lords, where did you happen upon this call? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. I hope so. Yeah. One dark longsword coming up. Back into the dungeon from the main bonfire. And the first set of stairs with uh, only one jailer in the area. We can unlock the door here. Pick up the prisoner chief's ashes. Don't forget to grab the old sorcerer's set. And then the last door uh, on the bottom. Great magic shield. Then across the bridge, drop down and take a shortcut that's opened up on, uh, on the side. Goes down the elevator. And unfortunately, the jailers are going to be back in this room again. Handle it whichever way you feel most comfortable. Uh, our goal is to get over and free the Black Witch. Oh, I thought... Hmm? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for once. You're here, but I... Oh... And then we're done with the dungeon at this point. We're going to head up the stairs again and do the dragon gesture and head off to Arch Dragon Peak. And before you do get too deep into this area, make sure to buy enough spells to where you get the uh, Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. Because you're going to want to be silent during a part of this area. make a dash for the bonfire so you're just gonna make a mad dash all the way through you're not gonna fucking attack anyone or anything Make sure you have the slumbering dragon crest ring on, otherwise it's going to be much more difficult. spawn just go straight to the bonfire 
and we're gonna go right back to the last bonfire to clear out the items uh, that we missed when we're running through the boss arena. Around the edge. Pick up the ring of steel protection. And then it'll drop off area down below. Oh shit. <laughs> they don't usually follow you down, they usually get stuck up there. Um, grab the twinkling titanite. There's one more chunk up in the area with the uh, the large dragon creature, and there's a few uh, crossbow bolts up there as well. Um, don't really need either of them at this point. I'm gonna head back to the shrine. And now we have black flame, black fire orb, dark blade. All right, now that I have a dark infused weapon, I went ahead and came over here and uh, reallocated my points to match up with uh, what I wanted to ultimately be with the prisoner's chain on. I got 28 vigor, uh, 22 endurance, 17 strength. That's with uh, a ring on as well. And then 15 intelligence and 25 faith, given the dark longsword 275 damage. Take the strength ring off, the faith ring off, and the prisoner's chain off. And here's the uh, the points. So you can definitely play with it a little bit depending on how you play. But this is ultimately the way I have it um, and what works best for me. All right, now we'll continue on. You can also move the points around a lot depending on which rings you have on. Um, ultimately, I'm going to have the intelligence ring on uh, to kick up the damage of the dark weapon even more, as well as uh, use more pyromancies. So we want to kill the Drake Blood Knight at least once. That way it makes his armor available. And you get his sword. Now, before continuing through Arch Dragon Peak, uh, I always keep the Slumbering Dragon Crest ring on through here to mask the sounds that we make, and we're not going to uh, alert the enemies to our presence as much as possible. Up the ladder, we get the Thunder uh, Stone Plate Ring. And without making a sound, we don't alert the uh, one of the larger dragon uh, guys. Bring the dragon down, head through the window. is on top of the building we're gonna bring him back down one more time and then from the window seal or right through the window we're gonna take him out with arrows I'm going to rapid fire poison arrows into his head and then uh, just do regular shots of regular arrows after that until he's dead I mean, I know sitting here at the windowsill just shooting him with arrows and taking a long time to do so feels a little silly or even noobish, but I'm just trying to show uh, how you can get through these uh, later game areas that you should be higher leveled up, especially your weapons, uh, to make it through. Um, 
showing how to get through them uh, relatively easily. And we're just gonna run right past this uh, summoner and head straight to the bonfire. Now we're gonna head up the middle and get the uh, the bigger dragon creatures to come out. And then we're going to sneak off and summon Hawkwood for his help. And then let Hawkwood run off and deal with all of them while we go take care of Havel. And anyone that says Hawkwood doesn't do a good job, they're, they're dead fucking wrong. Nine times out of ten, Hawkwood will fucking wreck all of those dragon creatures. I do have him die every once in a while, but usually he just kicks the shit out of everyone. I'm gonna switch out my strength ring for the hornet ring. And let's just... So, run up and backstab it. Maybe even uh, charge R2 if we can manage to get one off. And then we're gonna head back to the ladder. If you can get down it quickly enough and uh, have him still come at you, sometimes he'll jump off the ladder and kill himself or start walking down the ladder and kind of glitch himself out. He's not meant to uh, climb down the ladder. All right, so we'll just come up behind him again and backstab him again. Grab the slab while you're over here. Dead. Pick up the Dragon Tooth and the Great Shield. Um, I'm gonna throw on the, uh, the Silver Cat Ring off the edge uh, on the side up here. You can go down and then through the door. Pick up the Great Magic Barrier uh, Miracle. make our way all the way back around do not sit at the bonfire make sure we leave everyone dead and then off to the left hand side before the stairs come around and pick up the dragon chaser's ashes take too long. The Mendicant Staff. So what I use, I equip the Arbalest. Um, it's going to be the heavier of the two weapons that I prefer to use. Um, I got sniper bolts for my R1 and what I do have of exploding bolts for my R2. Um, strength ring to make sure I have enough strength to use it. And then uh, the Ring of Steel Protection and the Chloranthi Ring. Um, this is going to be the second phase of the fight. So for the first phase, I'm going to use my uh, Millwood Battle Axe and uh, buff it with uh, Gold Pine Resin. Keep your 
distance from him. Keep your distance and have some patience. And just hit him with the uh, bolts. Slab and the Dragon Slayer armor set. Hmm. And it looks like I forgot to grab the uh, Dragon Slayer spear through the gate, so I'll grab that now. <clears throat> and now that we've taken out Havel, um, let's go around the uh, the world, I guess, and uh, we'll go pick up some armor as well as a ring um, we got a few armor sets out there that we can grab then we'll start out by going to uh, Osiris's uh, boss room and right in where we got the uh, gesture the uh, pathway to the dragon gesture we can pick up the Drake blood armor set and the cliff underside bonfire at the undead settlement where we got Cornix. We pick up uh, our, yeah, Cornix's armor. And from the Road of Sacrifices bonfire, we're going into the tower and up to the giant. And as long as you picked up all the white branches around the trees, they'll already be dead. Um, if not, you can just kill them. We don't need them anymore at this point. And you can pick up the Hawk Ring, which extends the range of your, uh, bow and from the uh, wolf of Farron bonfire we're gonna head up the elevator and finally kill the uh, demon that's wandering around on the bridge corner and pick up Havel's armor set. From the central Irithyll bonfire, we head out onto the bridge. And pick up Creighton's armor set. So that's all the armor we can get now. And the only ring that's out there that we can get as well. 